What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be comparing trade school to traditional university. We're going to be going over the differences of getting a college degree versus finishing trade school and going into the trades. And if you're someone that is considering either one of these options, this video is definitely going to help you out. And all I ask is that you gently tap the like button. Let's aim for, I don't know, 2000 likes on this video and also hit that subscribe button. I think only a little less than 20% of you are subscribed. And out of those 20%, only about 8% of you hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications. Come on now, I think we can do better than that. And it also is something that really makes me happy and I would appreciate it, thank you. All right, so jumping right into it, I think everybody knows what university is. Pretty common, everyone knows what college is, but what exactly is trade school? Like what exactly is the difference of going to a trade school or going to a university or a community college? Well, the main difference between trade school and college is the fact that in college you have to take a bunch of general education classes and a bunch of uh, prerequisite classes that you don't necessarily want to take and they don't necessarily have anything to do with your major. This is because colleges believe that you should have a well-rounded education and they make you take a bunch of, you know, liberal arts, humanities, etc. classes, and these classes don't necessarily have anything at all to do with your major. It's a scam. Whereas trade school is gonna give you dedicated training to teach you a very specific skill where it is known that that is a skill that is needed in society, right? So an example of this is you could go to trade school and learn how to weld. And all of your classes would revolve around the skill of welding. Now there are several different types of trade schools. Um, basically there's trade school, vocational school, as well as technical school. Trade schools tend to be a little bit more hands-on than technical schools technical schools also tend to be a little bit more like their traditional like classroom environment and then vocational school is kind of a little bit of both but to be honest these are very subtle differences and a lot of trade schools basically do all three in one so you might become a dental hygienist at a vocational school you might become an elevator installer at a trade school and you might become an IT expert at a technical school but like I said they are all essentially the same thing so I'm just gonna refer to all of them as trade school. Now, depending on the trade school you go to, the location you're in, as well as the career you're trying to get in, you might end up getting a certificate after finishing trade school, or in some cases, you will actually get a degree. Now, I think a lot of people, when they picture kind of trade type careers, they think of like a really buff guy, like holding a wrench or you know something like that, doing manual labor. And there is a lot of manual labor in a lot of different trade careers, but it's not just for guys. And there's a lot of trade careers where it's dominated by women. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read some careers out to you. Uh, nursing assistant, dental hygienist, respiratory therapist, radiation therapist, sonographer, massage therapist, esthetician. All of those have a significant amount of women in the careers. So that stereotype isn't necessarily true. Now, some other very common trade careers I think everybody knows about, you know, you've got plumbers, electricians, uh, elevator mechanics, actually all different types of mechanics, whether it be car mechanics, aircraft mechanics, etc. Also a bunch of different technician jobs, welders, carpenters, HVAC mechanics, etc. My brother is actually a HVAC mechanic and he owns his own business. There are a ton of different trade careers out there. Now, the next question, how long does a traditional degree take in order to finish and how long does trade school take? Well, a traditional degree, a bachelor degree, is supposed to take about four years to finish. Lately, for many reasons, some of which I think are a little bit sketchy, a lot of the time bachelor's degrees are taking five years to finish, sometimes even six. So I looked at different studies and everything and there's a lot of different numbers thrown around, but usually it's about 5.1 years on average to finish your bachelor degree. Then if you wanna get a master's, that's usually gonna be another two years. And then if you wanna get a doctorate, that is usually, depending on the program you go into, it could take another five to eight years on top of that. If you get a professional degree like medical doctor, pharmacist, etc. Um, usually that is gonna take four years or so after getting your bachelor's degree, so eight years total. And then in some cases, you're gonna do some type of training on top of that, some type of residency or fellowship. So long story short, college takes a long time. Trade school, on the other hand, usually takes less than two years. This means that people are finishing school a lot earlier, they're starting to make money earlier, and they're entering the job market and getting real world experience 
at a much earlier age. On top of that, the fact that the school itself is shorter means that you're likely going to be paying a lot less in tuition. And if that wasn't enough, you should also consider opportunity cost. And by that, I mean, while everybody else is paying to go to school still for an extra two years, three years, or maybe even longer, you are making money, you're learning skills, you're networking, you're getting started with your life. The next question we want to consider is how much do trade careers make versus how much are you gonna make if you get a college degree? Now this is where, in my opinion, it gets very, very fuzzy. It's, it's almost like comparing apples to oranges. So if you look at the averages and you compare trade careers, all trade careers, versus all people who graduate with a college degree, the people who graduate with a college degree do tend to make more money. At least that's what it says when you look at government reported websites. However, what I have found in real life is many different trade careers get paid in cash. And for that reason, it isn't necessarily reported the same way that it is in a normal job, right? And so in my opinion, many of the statistics and the average salaries that they report on websites like the Bureau of Labor Statistics are wrong. So for instance, on BLS, it shows that HVAC mechanics make about $50,590 per year, about $24 per hour. And I have personal experience with this because my brother's one. I've met a bunch of you know HVAC mechanics through him. Um, None of them are making that little. They're all making more than that, whether or not they own their own business. Okay, so some of the trade careers, you have to do a little bit of extra research if you wanna figure out what the true salary is. And if that wasn't enough, the pay is also gonna vary greatly depending on where you live, whether you're union or non-union, and whether you own your own business, don't own your own business, or you are licensed. So for instance, on BLS, it shows electricians make about $56,000, $57,000 per year, but if you are an electrician in Oregon, you are likely going to be making well over $70,000 per year. And dental hygienist median pay is about $77,000 a year, but if you live in Washington, you'll likely make over $95,000, right? So very muddy, very difficult to figure out what it actually is in terms of the pay. So construction managers, for instance, make about $97,000 per year. There are definitely some very high paying trade careers. Um, generally speaking, if you're a manager, you're gonna make more. Also, if you own your own business, you're likely gonna make more as well. Keep in mind that the median income is, depending on which source you use to look it up, about 35 dollars to $40,000 per year. So these numbers are pretty good. And the median income of a college grad is usually about forty-five dollars to $50,000 per year. And with trade jobs, you see a lot of different numbers, but usually it's about $42,000 per year um, on average. So very comparable to a college degree. And one of the nice things is it costs a lot less, which is what we're gonna get into in the next section. I've said this many times on this channel, college is getting more and more expensive. Uh, usually people are going on average about thirty-seven dollars to $40,000 in debt, and overall college costs usually about eighty dollars to $100,000. Trade school, on the other hand, on average costs about $33,000. So trade school is definitely a lot cheaper. And like I said, this is just the cost. It doesn't also count the time that it saves you, and it doesn't take into account opportunity cost. And opportunity cost might be the most important out of those three. If you are able to save time, that means while other people are accumulating debt, you are actually making money. While they are spending money, you are making money. You're getting experience. Now, by the way, the 33,000 uh, number there, that's just an average. Some trade schools are gonna cost a heck of a lot less than that. Again, it's always gonna be worth it for you to do your research on this. Also, there are many different trade careers where depending on the area you're in, the occupation you're trying to get into, et cetera, like a bunch of different factors, whether you're union or non-union, you may not even have to attend trade school, right? So you might be able to go right in and get an apprenticeship. All right, so the next section, I'm just gonna call X factors. This is gonna be a bunch of random stuff that didn't necessarily make it into any other section, but I still think is very important. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is how much value you get out of each one and how that is rapidly changing. So a college College degree used to basically be a golden ticket to success. You got a college degree, didn't really matter which major it was, and you were set for life. That was like 20, 30 plus years ago. Things have changed now. A college degree is not nearly as valuable as it used to be. Uh, there are some college degrees that, in my opinion, 
aren't worth it for the most part and some college degrees that are worth it sometimes and then there's some that are still worth it and you definitely get a good return on your investment so as the value of a college degree has been going down the cost of college has been going up, right? So this trend will probably continue in the future. The value of a college degree will continue to go down and the cost is going to continue to go up. Trades, on the other hand, in my opinion, because of the fact that so many people have been transitioning into more white collar type jobs where they're in an office, trades have gotten more and more valuable. So having these trade skills where you're able to fix things and, you know, and understand things in a technical way is incredibly valuable. So in the future, I expect the value of a education in the trades to also continue going up. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is future growth potential. Uh, when you look at a lot of the trade careers, they do have very good future growth potential, and that's basically where they estimate how much uh, need there will be in the future for that career. But on top of that, trade careers have extremely good job security, okay? So what I mean by that is, you know, if something really bad happens in the world, some kind of, you know, catastrophic event, are you still going to be able to have a job? And for the most part, just because trade careers tend to just directly solve a big problem that a bunch of people have, the job stability tends to be very, very good. You know, trade careers are essential, right? That's a big word that we heard thrown around for the last two years, right? Trade careers truly are essential. Like, you know, society would fall apart if you didn't have tradespeople uh, making sure that things keep on running, fixing things, repairing things, doing maintenance on them. College degrees, on the other hand, it really depends on which one you get, which career path you go down. There's a lot of variability there. But with that being said, when it comes to flexibility, trade careers are not gonna be as good as a college degree. With a college degree, especially certain ones, you can basically go down like so many different career paths. Whereas if you go to trade school to become a plumber, you're probably gonna become a plumber. So when it comes to flexibility, uh, college degrees are gonna be the clear winner there. Another thing we should consider is job satisfaction. Now this is just, it's so difficult to say whether one's better than the other when it comes to job satisfaction. That's like saying like, this ice cream is subjectively the best ice cream. You, you can't say that. Everybody has their own favorite ice cream. But with that being said, if you're somebody who really likes being outside, you really like working with your hands, doing physical labor, um, trade careers are probably going to be appealing to you. Generally speaking, if you're somebody who wants a desk job where you're working inside, you're not really exposed to the weather or anything like that, and you don't want it to be too physical, college degree would probably be the better way to go. But there really is something to kind of just like working with your hands. Uh, I've mentioned this before on the channel, but you know, I did trade stuff when I was a, a teenager. Um, you know, I worked, uh, I did demolition, I did construction, I did some landscaping. And there really is something to like being outdoors and just like doing physical labor. It, it just really is satisfying in a weird way. It's kind of hard to explain, but at the end of the day, you feel like you put in an honest day's work. Whereas, you know, sometimes if you're on a, doing a desk job, like you kind of feel like you didn't really do anything because you were just sitting down all day. So yeah, there really is something to that. Um, it's something where you kind of just have to try it in order to experience it. But yeah, hope this video helped you to make your decision on which one is better for you. Uh, if you haven't done already, go ahead, check out my other videos right here. Uh, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.